Hi guys, so can you believe that it's Easter 2014 already fast approaching us this weekend? Well, we're going to be having some fun because Jada got in the kitchen and she showed us how to make her eggy bread. Take a look at it. Aren't they gorgeous? This is so simple to make. You're going to have fun with this. You can make this for Easter morning for breakfast. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. This is the first part of the recipe and we're going to be making the apple glaze. We're going to need a good nonstick skillet. We're also going to need an ounce of water and two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of sugar, and this is about three-fourths of an apple that's diced up, okay? Now we move over to the stove. We get the skillet heated up completely first before adding the sugar. And when we add the sugar, we want the sugar to get heated well first before adding anything else to it all right so we want to stay here and stir it so it doesn't burn and so far we have the heat on medium heat now it's time to add the diced apples and after adding the apples we want to make sure the sugar coats over the apple pieces completely before adding the butter listen to the sizzle guys doesn't that sound delicious so we make sure that the butter is completely melted with the apples and then we add the water and after adding the water we just allow this to cook on very low heat for about eight to ten minutes all right and then it's glazed that part's done easy now it's time to prepare the batter for the french toast and we're using milk we're using cinnamon we're using sugar and we're using a couple of eggs i, I didn't give you any set recipe for this or ingredients list for this because you're going to do according to how much you're making. Then we're going to need some cooking oil. We're using um, olive oil. And we need to put that in the skillet first and get it hot before putting in the butter because that's what prevents the butter from burning or getting that brown color, okay? So after your pot's heated up, you want to go ahead and take your piece of stale bread. We're using sourdough bread today. And just kind of douse it completely over and over and over in the bowl to make sure every part of the bread gets moist. And then you shake off that excess batter completely, really shake it off well, okay? Then now all to do is to drop it in the skillet and allow it to cook for about a minute to a minute and a half on both sides. And then put it on your plate and dress it up with your apple glaze and you don't even need pancake syrup. All right, so I don't even have any to taste on camera for you guys because Jada and Joe just grabbed it and ran off with it. But anyways, you guys try it, make it with stale old bread. Jada did it with uh, sourdough bread. We like it that way with the sourdough bread. And the apple glaze is so wonderful. Jada is so good at glazing things. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna put her in the kitchen every time when it's time to melt chocolate or glaze stuff, all right? If you guys like the video, hit like below for me. I want you guys to have a fantastic and safe Easter. And until I see you guys again, take care. Please check out my review channel right here on YouTube, it's called Bear Pantry Talk. Also check out my vlog channel, it's called Babs Bear Talk.